Hello and welcome to Marvel Gallery's 2020 Game of the Year series of videos. And I know it's 2021 and we're doing things a little differently. So today's category is biggest gaming mess of 2020. And there's, I, I, there's, I don't even have a runner up. I have one pick for this and you guys know what it is. It's Cyberpunk 2077. So I'm going to preface this by saying I never did a video review of Cyberpunk 2077. I played the game on my Series X. Uh, obviously it's not a Series X enhanced game, but it does run at a pretty consistent 60 frames. And honestly, my experience with the game was pretty decent. Uh, I had one game breaking bug and that's one of the reasons why I stopped playing the game, but I did finish the main quest line. If I were to review the game, I would give it a solid B, solid B minus. I enjoyed my time with it. It actually did make my top 10 list, albeit very low. However, I can't stand here and talk about Cyberpunk without talking about all of the shit that surrounded this game in the month of December. This is a game that should not have released last year. It's a game that should not have come out in the state that it was. This is a developer who promised this game for almost seven years that it would run on the Xbox One and PS4 consoles, and then it came out and it can't really run very well on those systems. It led to one of the biggest refund campaigns for a mainline mainstream game that I've ever seen in my entire life. It, um, it's the first time I've ever seen a main studio published game pulled from store shelves, pulled from the digital Sony store. You still can't buy it as the, at the time of me recording this, you still can't buy cyberpunk 2077 on the PSN. You can't do it. <laughs> you still buy it on Xbox's store, but you cannot buy it on the PlayStation marketplace. That's crazy. This is a, this, like, I could sit here and pick apart every bad marketing decision, all of the studio exec decisions. I'm not going to do that. There's so many, there's a multitude of videos out there you can go and seek out. Trust me when I tell you, this was a huge monumental mess. And I think the reason why I enjoyed the game so much is I went into it blind. I went into it with little to no fanfare other than I knew it was a cyberpunk uh, world and it had Keanu Reeves. That was it. That's all I really knew about the game. So to go into it and go, hey, I, you know, for me, it was like an Elder Scrolls or Fallout game set in a cyberpunk world. And I enjoyed it for that. It's not without its bugs. It's not without problems I've seen, you know, but um, I can't like there's no like there. I, I would argue it's not only the biggest mess of 2020. It is could be the biggest mess of last decade. The only thing I can think of even worse would maybe possibly be Microsoft's 2013 Xbox One reveal. So, like, it's it's bigger than that. I really think it's bigger than that. And it's just, it's insane. And it's it's a story we're going to keep hearing about for months. There's lawsuits. There's, there's, there's just everything. Nothing was a bigger mess in 2020 than Cyberpunk. So, I'd love to know in the comments below, did you play Cyberpunk? Did you like Cyberpunk? Uh, what are your feelings about everything that goes around with it? Do you think there was a bigger mess in 2020? I would challenge you to tell me that there was a bigger mess in video games in 2020 than Cyberpunk. The only thing I could come up with was the Warcraft 3 Reforged thing, but this is this just is so much bigger than that. So anyways, leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, until next time.